It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not, not my day off man, on. we got a special guest back in the house mm-hmm. today, man. I'm excited, man. This guy right here don't need no introduction. Y'all hear him all the time. Been hearing him for years in Dallas, putting it down like it's supposed to be done. Man, my boy Jay Cruz is in the building. You know, there's a lot of people gonna get mad at me for this, but I agree. <laughs> Iron Man. It, it, that's dope, man. What the one? So, man. And that's it. That's all I'm That's all you got? All right. I, got I mean, a couple more, but I, the one, the, I the know dirt, a lot of Jamaicans that sometimes right. get mad at that. Like, they don't, that's you know, how. like, yo. That's how. Because you don't say properly. That's you what say I'm saying. Yeah, and I, don't, yeah, yeah. And I mean in the respect when I just did that. Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. I was like, some people are going to get mad at me. <laughs> I interviewed uh, Pop Can, Pop, Popcon one Pop time. Mm-hmm. And... In the interview, I did, you know, I was like, yo, I was gonna. He was like, no, 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 don't do that. You know, he's like, don't do that. You know, like, he's like, you good, just be but yourself. But some people are good, though. Some people are very good at doing if it. If you are and, like, you know, but even if they find out you not, right, and you just, it, it still can rub people the wrong way. So I just threw a disclaimer before I said the what the <laughs> Man, you did a good job, man. For me, it was like right. on I, point. Yeah, no. Yeah. And I'm an East Coast boy, too. So the culture, you know, Jamaican, you know, you just, you know. It's yeah, out. the East Coast seem to have a, a, a Caribbean feel. Like, they're everywhere, of course, but the East Coast predominantly, I see sure. there and, and like Florida. Yeah, Florida. Florida they, a lot heavy. of people from New York move to Florida. Florida. Like, there's issues down in Florida sometimes because New Yorkers be like trying to go to Florida. Right, right. From what I hear, I'm not a. Mm-hmm. My mom lives in Miami, uh, but yeah, it's a lot of Dominicans, Cubans, uh, Puerto Ricans. Mm-hmm. You know, the more Caribbean side of Latino is 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 the whole. Right. It's very similar to the Jamaican. Co- we love platanos. Yes. Oh my plantains. God, girl, like mm-hmm. plantains is what I be. Know. I be eating them. I love platanos. I don't say them like that. I can't I even well, say them like that. That's how we say. <laughs> So, man, let me ask you, man, like, you can... How do you cook it? Uh Uh-oh. I like it. um, Do you fry it? Yeah, I fry it. Now, you know, we make mofongo, we make, like, there's different ways to make it, but I like it when it's almost um, rotten. And mm-hmm. you slice it yeah. and you fry it because it's so sweet and mushy. And that's it's how like that's, soft. A, that's how it's we do it too, right? But you could if you cut it when it's green and fry it, it's thicker. It's, it's like, like well, we yeah, like like, like not like a pants potato. And chips. That's why we use we exactly make right, and chips. right. So it's just different texture depending on when the the. the Cause is it a fruit Have you ever? Do y'all boil it too? We can boil it. That's yeah, what I'm saying. That's when you mush it, it kind of yeah. almost like a like. Mashed potatoes, but not like right. mashed potatoes. It's right. different. You be don't tell me you be cooking like that. You I do not cook. No, I <laughs> sound like but you know. No, that's know. right. My mom's. You know, my mom's cooking, and then wifey made made it a point to learn my mom's dishes. Oh, I was about to say. Yeah, she, she so really? she knew how to keep me. I'm gonna tell you something, man. Crazy. I lost my mom at an early age, and a lot of those the taste buds. I I had to figure it out at the end. I watched her cook, and uh-huh. it's funny how it, it came to me. I was at, right, like right. I was able to grab. Because he wasn't in those. the kitchen, but he'd be like I, I trying to make taste. it. He'd be like, "Okay, so it's missing something." And the I was, palate, the way yeah, they call I, it I knew, I knew. Yeah. He's but yeah, for I don't. Taste. I don't. Like if you be like, "What's in there?" I'd be like, "I don't know, but it's good." Like, <laughs> don't, I, I'm not gonna be able to tell you like, "Oh yeah, there's rosemary in the air," and there's like, I'm not gonna be able to. Do you should try to surprise her one day and go in the kitchen. There we go. I don't know. There we go. Instead of a surprise, that would be that. like a problem. That would be like, why did you do this? You spent a lot of money on this shit and it's terrible. Let's just go out to eat. Wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, or bring a chef in or something. But no, I just, I, if I had, there's certain things I can make. I'm okay with breakfast. Like, you know, there's certain things I, oh, I so can do. you can cook breakfast and meals. Yeah, I can do breakfast. I can okay. do breakfast. I yeah. got to cook you breakfast here. I'm missing. It's been a while. I know. It's been Look, some I'm years. Over here it ain't problems. been no years. It's been a year. Are ever you since, serious? Ever since it's this podcast started, y'all ain't got no time. I got to do better. <laughs> I, I, I got to do better. I bring the roses, he'll, though. He'll, yeah, yeah, he does bring the roses. I was going to say, right. yeah, Ma- he, marriage counseling talk yeah. 101. Yeah. No, I, no, I'll, get, I'll get up and he'd be like, man, I was going to make you breakfast this I morning. Was. How you going to tell her what you were going to do? <laughs> he does the disappointment that. is real. I'm like, <clears throat> I'm like I'll be right seriously wanting to do it. I was going to spend like a lot of money on your birthday, but instead yeah. I decided not to. No, yeah. no, no. Then he'll turn around and be like, okay, so baby, what you cooking me for breakfast? <laughs> 
<laughs> now because she's better at it anyway. I love y'all though. I love y'all. Man. y'all been, I remember the first time I came here, I was so impressed with y'all. <laughs> 20 years going on, man. Hey, man, uh, God is good, right? The way y'all work together in here. I really man, love we've had some of the craziest since you left us over here. You should have came back like all the time and checked on I, us, I right? should have. And from I'm that serious. beginning, right? Man, how you, far you've come you and know the how growth. stuff done happened over here, man. Like, it, and, and other places we've mm-hmm. went, man, it's been a it's been a hell of a run. It's been a learning process. Is yes, it has. It's I'm, I'm, getting you ready for the next level man, and the next step. Man. And then we also do um, guest hosts. So sometimes you got to come and help us. You got to come uh, back and, uh, and, and be a. Oh, oh yeah. Right. yeah. Come yeah, back and be come a here, guest host. On that side with you. Yeah, right. yeah come on. Well, that's Depends the hard on who question. Yeah. Depends <laughs> on Charlemagne, these motherfuckers. Oh, that's bad. He's going to go hard on them. That so dude, I heard that, your man. bars is trash. No, that's that's. <laughs> hey, shout out to my boy, man, Bubba Dub. He come on here a lot and talk like that. Yes, yeah. be real honest. Oh like, that man, whack. I love when Bubba Dub come on the show. He he, for some reason, he love the show. And um, we guys show you Facebook. Yeah, the setup. Yeah, he was on here with Myron. At one time. Myron. Mm-hmm. It was dope, man. Them boys kicked it, man. Yeah, let me know. Invite me, man. I'm good. I'll come man, through. I come. Man, I just thank you, man, for just coming when nobody was here. Right. right. I gotta say that, man. Like that's the part that. I, I look back and some of the people that we reach out to and some of the things that we heard and you was one of the real ones and it was like, man, you know, you I, I and I don't play about it either. Certain people that didn't come and I'm not mentioning no names. <laughs> listen, you, you wanted them on one. Right in a minute, no. right? They're gonna be like, God damn it, I, I should have went on boss talk. Bro, it was, it was right? somebody that hugged you that got you here. You don't even realize that. It's a dude that posted been here. He did a picture hugging you. We had put his picture up, he didn't come, and I, I seen you, he hugged you. I said, I'm gonna bring everybody to he trying to hang out with and you showed up oh I was God. laughing I was the part of your vengeance I was just a part of your evil plan but you was dope. to destroy this dude who canceled no, on you no, and I was just I'm I was a pawn he I was might a pawn. know once he was right, like, like, I remember that I did <laughs> You remember that? Was, you didn't know. No, I didn't know. Oh, I'm tripping. Oh, I could. I, I know, know. I knew it happened. And he it's be just, doing things and then don't tell me about it until. And then he'd be like, "Oh, I didn't tell you." <laughs> but <laughs> no, nah, you, that. man, you one of them ones though, man. Like I said, when I say things, man, I, I might invite somebody and I'd be like, "God didn't give me him, but He gave me Jay Cruz," and I'm never gonna disrespect that. I'd be tripping like mm-hmm. that. He does. Like I don't. I, I really take it serious. <laughs> I appreciate and that. And it's because I know that. I'm not going to dumb it down. You didn't have to do that. And then for somebody else to give us flack, it ain't meant for them to come. No disrespect to them. Right, still no, love them. Still right, love right, what right. they're doing. <clears throat> but uh, but I know it's different with me and you, and I ain't playing with that. That's the way I think, bro. You're, <laughs> everybody shit. know that, though, that be mm-hmm. on the show. If, if yeah, it's like, I'm going right. to love you to death. You call me and say, E, I need you. I'm like, where you at? I'm coming. Right, 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 right. No way I'm not coming, right? right? So I know who to call when I get arrested. I promise you I'm going to be there. He'll be there. He will be there. That's my gift, actually. I help everybody be locked up, right? That's who a lot of people. I had a guy on here and I hadn't put it out yet. I met him in the parking lot. He did like 25 years in prison. I brought him right in here and interviewed him. Him and his friend came in here. I I don't care. That's one thing good about podcasting is you can do kind of what you want to do. Oh, yeah. No, that's the freedom of him. You know what I'm saying? Look at LeBron. LeBron just took his show off HBO. You know, he had that show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He just took it off HBO to put it on YouTube. Really? Mm Mm-hmm. YouTube That's is the dope. way. Because what you I, think? I, I you think YouTube the way? I look at YouTube as a new TV. It, it very much is. Look, so who's uh, there's another player that has a YouTube show. I can't remember his name. Which one? Like, um, uh, it is that guy with the braids, right? He got uh, braids, kind of. But well, I think that's why. Huh? Brandon yeah, Marshall, Brandon, that's him. And I think I think that's one of the reasons LeBron is doing this. He's seeing that on YouTube, he can have more freedom, more control, mm-hmm. and HBO's cool, but. You, you got to pay for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have HBO Max, and you got to pay for it. Yeah. Like, you know, and it's not free. YouTube's free. It's free. Now, no, let to me a, rephrase to that. A point. No, 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 no. Internet isn't free. You have to pay for it. <laughs> the only right. thing that's free is motherfucking rating. Hey, okay, you baby. said that last time. It's the only thing that's actually free, though. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You said that last time. It was time. all radio. Radio ain't like, my It's going to be so, around. I want to know uh, how was it. I, I had to, I thought about this question. Oh, when me and you talked, I was at Dennis. I was getting murdered, and uh, <laughs> I, was a, I was a part of that. Was yeah. <laughs> he was like, "I see it in your face." Look I said it. And he said, he, was like, "He said to the dentist, see, nobody fucking likes you. <laughs> <laughs> nobody likes you, motherfucker." <laughs> and the reason I did that because I hate him. But my wife, she's like, "You got to go." I'm like, "Okay." Yeah. I hate going too. Yeah, yeah, that's what he said. It made me most feel even men, worse. I'm like, "You right." Hate the doctors and hate the dentists. They hate anything that has to do with any checkups. No, yeah, that's I, don't, not true. I don't necessarily hate the doctor as much, but the dentist, I just, especially, 
Oh yeah, and you have I'm to like, sit there forever. Oh, I can't. I, yeah, oh, God, I hate but I gotta ask you. That, make sure you put on some chapstick before you go. That too, yeah. You be lips be cracking, and sometimes they're really rough. They are rough. Right. Like, <laughs> is you angry today? Like I'm gonna need you to calm the fuck <laughs> down. So let me ask you, man. So going from 97.9 to K104, yes, sir. Uh, two different morning shows. Um, yeah. What is the difference? What's the big difference? Uh, the biggest difference is um, the DD in the morning show is a syndicated morning show. Okay. They're in 60 plus cities. That's a machine. Okay. It's a, it's a machine. It's different. Like this, the, the way it works is real different. With Vita, uh, we were all first timers and it was a, it was way more of a learning experience and more hands on. Like we had to do everything. Yeah. Like you know what I mean. And uh, it which was is a, great... a blessing because yeah, you learn so much. That more... kind of pressure right. pushes you to another limit. As a... exactly. And, but also working on a uh, a machine like Didi, I get to focus on your craft. Yes, and not so much on editing the audio, running this here, posting this, doing this, doing that. Where it's more like okay, I could just focus. Like mm -hmm. you know, it was almost like. Uh, it, 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 I would say that's the biggest difference. It's it's not more relaxing, but more I can zone in on just being an on air. You know what I mean? A personality mm -hmm. instead of like doing a whole lot more. How, how, how long was your break? Because at first you told me it would be about six months. It seemed it like was it, more like it a, seemed a like year. a year. Yes. What happened? Uh, just life. You know, just yeah. the way. Not not for me on my point. Just as far as like. Things weren't ready. Okay. Things didn't fall into place. First, I had the six six months period. You know, right. I left. I remember you told us that the last yeah, time when you. Were I left here. the beat on. A, I took a risk on myself. I said yeah. I'm gonna leave because I need to be a free agent and see what other opportunities I could get. And you know, I had to wait the six months anyway, so I had to wait six months. Six months came up. I started, you know, really pushing my shit because in the meantime, I was sending my shit out. You know. I, but only Dallas here in Dallas. My, no, Dallas was not my only option. Okay, so yeah. you were willing to move. No, absolutely. This is the radio world. If okay. New, no, this to Dallas. If New York City or Cali were like, hey, do, 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 I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go experience. Yeah, look, don't look at big... me like that. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm Texas, right? Like, yeah, what? Or a TV opportunity. Like, you know, if Because those are the bigger markets. New York. Yeah, they're bigger California. markets, for sure. And not to, Dallas is an amazing market. I, I'll, I'll live and die here happily. No no issues and it's done so much for me but i'm also not scared of opportunity or to move i moved my whole life i tell my mom mom you set me up for success to be in this line of work because i'll go where the job is i am not attached too much to a place but does the children wow. feel the same way oh absolutely not <laughs> nah. they're scared of shit <laughs> that's what i was Demo, like it's like nah dad nah nah they don't like, want to go I, but i remember going to <clears throat> excuse me six different elementary schools i remember moving from pittsburgh i mean from new york to pittsburgh for different countries too like from country to country to new york to pittsburgh and but then did you love it at Are first, no, right? A right. kid, but I, then I got used to being the new kid in school. I got used to starting over. One thing that it set me up for, I'm not scared to move. Mm -hmm. When I when I had an opportunity and it came to me when I was in Pittsburgh and, you know, that station sold and we all lost our jobs and and then, uh, what was it, six months, seven months, I got a phone call about, hey, come come to Dallas. You know, I'm an East Coast dude, like, through and through talking about coming to Dallas. What? <laughs> they trip me out when they try to do that. I, no. Shut up. I got this. <laughs> I got this. Dallas. I've been here long enough. That Dallas or whatever. Mm -hmm. When I do southern accents, it'd be everywhere. It'd be well, from like Kentucky, Louisiana, because I I can't really. You and Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard don't on that. Uh, what was uh, that movie? Hustle and, Hustle and Flow. Flow. He was trying to get that southern accent. Man. Down. Well, that's what it is. And then you meet so many southerners from different places, and the accents are all different. All different. Right? Like all Louisiana's different. way different than Dallas, and then right. you know it's just all different. But so, how many different um, networks are in Dallas, as in radio? Um, I think well. Well, you got to look at is you talking about because what I'm kind? Because talk, I'm talking because I know channels. Well, radio stations, <coughs> so you know nine seven point nine one zero four. But are those um are those are the two five, big, the biggest ones? Which ones yeah, are the biggest so, ones? Yeah. So as far as like, well, no, because you know, Kiss. Yeah. Like, Kiss is like the number one. Oh, like, it Kiss is. kicked. Yeah, the the top forty pop station. They they kill and they're clear channel. Their own, so it's more about companies. And that's here in Dallas. Well, they're everywhere. Okay, Clear Channel owns a lot of shit. Okay, Viacom. see, I don't know. Yeah, no, that's okay. iHeart, you know, okay, iHeart yeah, now, no, all I that heart. shit. So okay. they, they you have big players. 
that own radio stations, TV stations, and that shit's across the country. So you can work for Clear Channel, but anywhere in, in, in oh, America. Yeah, because so they're stay everywhere. Here and then, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. But um, if you're, a, it depends on your personality, right? I don't really want to work at a pop station. Yeah. I just, no, nah, not, not that I don't like Katy Perry <laughs> <laughs> or fucking Taylor Swift. What's up, Swifts? Uh, or, but, or Justin Bieber. He's or Biebs. Biebs, I like dope. Yeah, I there. like all music, man. Or Chris like, Brown. Know, except for like country. I'm Chris Brown pop too. I love country. <laughs> Chris I Brown's like country. pop too. He is. Yeah, I just want to make pop, sure. But he's also R&B. He can do whatever. It's like huh? Michael. Yeah, not like Michael. Like I said, like I didn't say he. Don't do that. <laughs> that was a big thing. Listen, on that's show. been a big thing. That was a big we thing. Had guys he like, is like we had Michael to a little educate bit, though, people bro. on not playing with Michael Jackson on this show because Michael Jackson at first phase, and you start seeing what happened. I didn't say he's Wait, equal man. to Michael. I know, but but people but don't people really understand. You, you don't know? think you don't compare his his mm, his journey. Maybe not his journey. Not his like, journey no, at all. He hasn't been as he's not as big, but like well, he, he didn't is, stay consistent as long. Yeah, well, they, uh, and he had he still got to live some more, right? For sure, and but he's there's other shit happening with him that I think gets in the way of him just fo- being an artist. Like we're talking about his cases and yeah, stuff yeah, and yeah, shit yeah, like that. Different. Not to say that I don't Mike say had, had a lot of going anything. to me. Chris Mike was had a lot more like a usher to me. Usher too. Nah, uh, I don't play with us either. Don't do that. I'm no, I you know what I said no, the other said, day. Do that. Don't do that. Don't, that. don't, don't do that. You know what I said? Don't then. do that. I think The Weeknd, his music reminds me of Michael. You said yeah. The Weeknd. The Weeknd. I, I ain't gonna his, lie. His, I used to think, what's that other boy name? The boy that can't take his hat off. Neo. Neo sound like Michael to me. He has mm. certain songs where his, I hear Michael. His tone, maybe? Yeah. And he writes a lot of music. He's a talented dude. Uh, yeah, he but is. But again, okay, so let's get off this. Because I said like. <laughs> I said he's like Michael. Nobody's Not, like okay, Mike, Okay, okay, I love Mike too, my G. I get it, I get it. You, I get it's you. It's hard get it. to do it. Because I thought be about new, new Edition and all that. Like, you can't play with me. No, you can't. Mike, Mike was something, is something different. But uh, what about Prince? Prince was dope, but he wasn't Prince Mike. was dope. Prince played 27, 27 he instruments because right. there were songs that he put out that he played every single sound, including the I singing know. in the whole song because he could do a whole Look album by himself. This, this is a hell of a situation. In a studio. <laughs> by himself, he, he could really do it all by himself. He wouldn't need another it. person I in the room because he could play the drums, he could do the guitar, he could do this, he could do the vocals. Yeah, but he didn't well, do the moonwalk. Do no, he, he and, and like, see, his, songs, the his songs aren't as iconic. But Ooh. you know what, though? Who was behind all that shit, though? Behind Mike? Who, who was behind all that? Quincy Jones, cuz. A lot of it. It was some phases of Mike, man. This it, whole thing. I understand, Smokey but that first Robinson, album. When that first, first album, right? You're talking about Motown 25, yeah. Thriller? That's, yeah. A, that's Quincy Jones behind a lot yeah, of that, But right? you got, that, that's just, no, it, that's I'm a not phase. Saying, and it was a phase, and he has other stuff. Like, okay, we gotta stop talking about Mike. We gotta be here for too long. All right, we gotta be done. So, listen, man. <laughs> I, got, I was gonna ask you, like, is this the longest you ever stayed in a location? Um... Cause I thought about that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my longest radio run. That's what I thought in in, in Dallas for sure. Because my, we the dopest. It, listen, I love it's. Given, I love it, it's man. Given me everything. The base, the best decision I ever made in my life was coming to Dallas. I say that all the time. I say it all the time. Um, I love where I'm from. I love my culture up at, up north. You know, I'm an East Coast boy, and you can still see that it's still in me. You know, people always like, oh, you, you ain't from here. Where you from? Um, but you from East Coast, but what, which pizza is better again, uh, New York Chicago. Or, or Chicago? Yeah, if you Chicago. like thick ass, which one is I it? Thick ass crust and I shit do. like that. Chicago style. <laughs> I, I love. It. I like Chicago style pizza, but I'm a I'm a thin slice, bend it in the middle. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like nah. that. That's that's what we do. Well, I told you. And you know, I no, like the thick. I, I like know. stuff crust. I love Chicago. all of that. I get it. Yeah, 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 you like pepperoni. You like anchovies. You yeah, like mushrooms. I want all the meat. You want stuffing. tree bark. You want. Uh, <laughs> you want. Uh, uh, what is it? Put anchovies? everything on it. That? Jalapenos. You want everything on there. I know. Mm, I get it. That's a thick pizza. Pineapple. Not okay. A lot of people aren't fans of. Putting pineapple uh, ham on. and pineapple pizza, and I love it. I yeah. love it. See, I, well, I love it, girl. I will order the, ham and pineapple. The, what's the thing from Pittsburgh? That what's the food that sticks out there? Um, the Polish culture is pretty big, so okay. they got like halushki and they got like pierogies. Okay. I don't know if you know what those. Don't are. know what the hell that They're is. Like, it's like a almost like a not a pastry, but it's like a dough, and it's stuffed with either like mashed potatoes and cheese, or just mashed potatoes, or uh, I think other stuff sometimes. But um, Italian the, cultures, yeah. you know, Italian food, uh, uh, you know. Um, 
trying to think of some other stuff. Uh, oh, we got this place called Permani Brothers. Okay. It's uh, this, They make these uh, sandwiches that are super bomb because there's coleslaw and french fries on the sandwich. And you can get whatever kind of thing on it, like anything. But they're called, it, you can look them up sometimes. I'm going to have Brothers. to. I'm gonna, we got to go to Pittsburgh. We've never been. Pittsburgh's cool. Have we been through there? We haven't even been through there. No. We're going to go. Yeah, check it I'm out. I'm real nosy. I'll be trying yeah, to no, figure Pittsburgh's it out. Yeah, no, Pittsburgh's good. It's got a lot of history and shit, but it's also very industrial. Like, it just, I don't know if you've you ever been to Ohio. No. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. way upstate. You well, mean, But then we, if, you, if you go yeah. to Pittsburgh, you'd want to go get Hot Link. Is it Pittsburgh? Yeah, Hot Link. <laughs> well, uh, no. they have, uh, oh, that's Ka- Pittsburgh, Texas. Kibasi. Don't do that. We got Kabasi. Don't do that. Yeah, that's Pittsburgh, Texas. Right? Don't do that. We got Kabasi. There's a. Uh, Halushki, you know, again, like the Polish culture is really big in, in the Berg. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, but the food's cool. It's, it's, it's different. It's different. Have it's, you ever did like Detroit or DC? Uh, DC. I spent some time in DC because uh, my mom. What's that sauce they eat out there? What was eating out there? I oh, I, I couldn't tell you. Mumbo, uh, mumbo. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Mumbo but, but I, did, I spent like a, a week and a half in DC. Uh, we had a, my mom's boyfriend's uncle or cousin lived out there. He was a party uh comedy show promoter so okay he flew us did out you like much. it bro we was wilding out that week in dc bro i never seen hookers on the corner just flashing their titties like yo what the <laughs> fuck hey baby what's up come on here. where was this and i saw a lot of players wore cowboy boots yeah i saw yeah. that like the cowboy hats in the club and shit oh and like cool story right so i went to dc to go stay with this girl that worked for a label because when it was when me and my brother was rapping mono e mono back in the day shout out to my brother so so smooth and uh she had come to the radio station in Pittsburgh. I wasn't even on radio yet. And she showed interest in me. So she was like, oh, come stay with me in Chicago. Well, I didn't have sex with her or anything because it just wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> happening. But I had to take one for the team. My brother was like, yo, you better go. Mm-hmm. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go. So I went, stayed with her. She was real cool. But uh, we had a club one time and we in the VIP. So I'm standing at the edge. Of, like I'm over here. And there's like a little bit of room over here. I'm just standing there, you know. Chilling because there's like some celebrities. I ended up seeing like uh, Tyrese and okay. Cisco, like okay. real quick, blah, blah, blah. But before I saw them, I was standing right here, sitting, and I look like I did like a take. I went like this because I could tell somebody was next to me and they were really tall. Fucking Michael Jordan, cuz. Hey. Wow. Swear to God, right? So, <clears throat> how, did that, how was that? Well, here, I'm gonna show you because I can't forget meeting Michael. <laughs> I know. So I'm standing there Mike. and I kind of like because I could see that somebody tall had come next to me and I went, like you did that double take, right? I went, what? And when I did the tuck, when I the second time I looked, he looked too. Like, and he knew, like he smiled, and he was like, I was like, oh shit, you know, dapped him up, and that was it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was great though. Better than what I done. Conversation, right? No, no it was a dap up. I was like, man, oh, I said, nice to meet you. Like, he was like, all right. And then as soon as that happened, the people realized that he was there, and, and then they move. just started storming. And I, I kind of just crowd like, be moving I just moved on. over because. I'm not gonna. I'm not no, gonna, no, I'm not no, gonna no, crushed no. in crowd, this whole crowd, thing. Right, I don't right. want to be in it. I don't want to be in it. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was too much. But that was. It, you know, that's like the one. You know, he don't remember that shit, but I do. And, <laughs> as you should. As you right, should. Right. I sure would. I'd have had his picture on the wall. Well, selfie. It, this wasn't. Those, it didn't have yeah, selfie days then. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't that easy to just pull. You know what I mean? It wasn't those days. Like like this, like now, people be mad at you, man. Don't do that. I don't want to take a picture, man. I'm, I don't care. I did my. That's why I did Michael Irvin. I ain't even got that picture up. I was like, he's like. Uh, I had my camera people with me. I was like, man, we taking a picture, bro. I might not never see you again. He's like, right. no, we didn't, I didn't come here for that. I was like, well, I don't care, nigga. We finna take a picture. I, you know, I'm crazy. I'm going to nah. say whatever. And he was laughing like, this dude crazy. Yeah, so like my people, I'm telling my it. people, nigga, go on take the picture. He talking right now. Get it. Yeah, take while we talking. We don't have to be like this. <laughs> no, so let's take the fuck but the picture. He went, we right here. And then he said, man, you see what you start? People start trying to come Everybody take pictures. Knows. You see, that's the reason why they don't do it. He ain't have no security with him or nothing. It was just me and him. Ben Roethlisberger came to my birthday party party in Pittsburgh that's dope and he he walked up into the VIP whatever you know me and Santonio Holmes okay would always hang out like in the VIP section at clubs when I was because that was my era yeah when I yeah. was on there that's when we like we won Super Bowls and shit and all yeah, that you know we're the Steelers <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to talk to you about uh, some right. football, but yeah, we ain't cool, there yet. Just, cool. just, stay, just, yeah, just uh, stay, on, anyway, stay with you So guys. I told him, I was like, hey, can we take a picture? He's like, hey, you know, I'm not really doing that tonight. And I was like, okay, whatever. Like, he came to the birthday party. He's hanging out in the VIP. I'm good. Fuck it. Five minutes later, he's taking a picture with some blondes. And I'm like, oh, that's the way they do it. 
You didn't get your picture? <sighs> no, I didn't get it. It's fine. Because you weren't a girl. It's fine. And then I think my mom was there, too, and I had asked, like, yo, you know, my mom was like, no, I ain't really taking no pictures. Oh. And like I said, like, five, ten minutes later, I seen him taking pictures with these blondes Because you was too nice. You should have been like, no, nah, you weren't cute enough. Pictures, nigga. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, he, Ben. Being ben. kind of aggressive with the women, I already heard about yeah, it. That's from Ben. <laughs> How did you like the Super Bowl uh, uh, halftime show? That, that was dope. That was wonderful. See hip hop. Fifty came up, like you know. Fifty came up, you know. Wait. Is that what you're trying to say? Because you was holding your belly go, when you, know, you said that. To say, I swear go, to God. He supposed to come up. Like he didn't get to come up. He kind of just got down. I mean, he's look. That man has. You listen. That dude is a machine. Like man, as far as like bad, what he bro. has accomplished and people and he's mean. He's mean too. Like on so like sometimes I wonder like he's. You know, because you could get so people try to cancel you. So they can't handle him. Fifty, like he, he'll say what he wants. And yeah, like, there is no like some people be like, man, you need to cancel him. I can't believe he said that. And this guy, like, it never gets support. It never, it's never supported. Like it's, and he's like executive producer. Like he's putting he's out shows, heavy, dude. but he bad, still bro. will hop online and say what and troll the shit out of you. Yeah, no, yeah. I already got like, it. bitch. Give me my and money. That's him. Yeah. And I'd be like, mm -hmm. right. So it's like a. I admire him, and then sometimes he might say something where I disagree with him. Like, man, that's fucked up that he said that. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's life. You, I got friends that I don't and like everything they do. You know, mm -hmm. so and did, that's his opinion. He's did entitled you see, to. It. You see, uh, uh, my boy Dre getting down up there. He he don't usually come out. Dre, the whole nine. That was dope. Yeah, I like how yeah. the and they said you know they said he spent like seven million of his own money in the show. Wow. Yes, he, Dre put. He didn't get paid. He put money yeah, into got, it yeah. to. For the Make production, from what I gather, yeah, really, yeah, yeah, mm. he put his own money into it. Snoop did. Snoop put his in the death row, getting death row. Yeah, back. Snoop smoked, put it in the weed. He was smoking. Yeah. <laughs> this boy was over there. Like, this. Smoke. He go, oh, How you get? They got tape cool. of him hitting the joint before he stepped on stage. I, I believe like, he doesn't he, get high anymore. He can't a, get high. He no threw more. up gang signs on the stage, like he was throwing up, you know, he signs. And he oh, kicking. Sorry, it. I, I ain't no crib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just stole it real smooth. Well. You know I, how to do the it. The culture's there. Well, I, I, we was, yeah, we was bloods where I grew up, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that brings up a story. Did you? I know you seen the viral moment on here, didn't you? Mm -mm, when, oh happened? yeah. Well, the OGs came down. The ones who originally started the Crips and oh, here in Dallas. Yeah. Uh. Uh. In like, L. A. I brought oh, them down. Oh shit. And uh, they got with one of the guests, uh, Charleston White, that uh, we have here. That was on this show. Oh shit. You watched it? I know everybody I seen see that. You no. didn't know? You didn't realize that was here? I I probably did. It's just. <laughs> Whatever. He got too much going on. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but I just smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> but but, but do you think that the Crips and the Bloods that are out of si outside of L.A. are, are the same magnitude? We of used what's to argue going that in, in L.A. in Pittsburgh, where I grew up, because like for a while, like you know, I'm from McKeesport, P Pennsylvania. That's where McKeesport, and you know, we they were mostly Bloods. <laughs> Me and my we threw a party when we was young when we first moved to the Berg. My sister had made friends with some Crips. And I made some friends with some bloods, and we invited them both to the party. Dude, listen to what I tell you. They started fighting. The one dude put out a gun. He didn't shoot it, but he pulled it out in the de downstairs in the basement. I mean, I'm talking about this is like a this is a teen, like a 15, 16 year old kid. That's, that's the age. They started fighting. He pulled out the gun. People were running. The cops came. They shot guns. They they ran up in the house. The, 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 the dudes ran. Nobody That's got shot. Party. Right, boy. The next day, we were the most popular motherfuckers <laughs> ever. <laughs> like, that party was, was like, oh, that dude, yo, did you go to this party that night? Oh man, like me and my sister were sitting like, I guess we did the right thing. Like you know, <laughs> nobody got hurt, nobody got shot, but we were so like it was the people to this day. People are like, oh, do you remember that party when the cops, people were shooting the blood and crips, and we were like, wow, well, you know, we're from New York, so we crazy, man. Y'all good people, man. It's good people everywhere, right? Yeah, bro, it's good people. So, everywhere. so how's the hoods in uh, up there though? But the hood is hood, man. Come on, it's every. It's the yeah, hood is hood. Yeah, this yeah. culture's a little different, you know, because it's more like in the middle, like this. There's East Coast influence and there's down south That's influence what I was in thinking. Pittsburgh. It's a little bit of both, both, you know, and then they got their own sound. I mean, shout out to Wiz Khalifa, Mac Miller, two, two of the biggest to come, um, and myself. Hey, um, hey, hey, get it in there. Hey, that's what's up. Um, but yeah, you know. Um, How's the spins different from um, over in over at uh, K104 and 97? As far as the music, how the plays go, the playlist different? or Because or, I know y'all play a lot of the same music because I used to get, them, I I used to get say, mad about that. I was going to say. I, mean, like, I just heard that over here. I wasn't, there's times where the, we're playing the same, same exact music. song at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just, it is what you it is. You already knew that, though. Yeah, no, absolutely. Going into the situation. The music's not very different. No, it's because whenever I used to listen to radio, because I haven't listened to radio in years unless I have to. But I'm just saying. You invite me on the show and I, say I'm, that I'm, shit? I'm, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. not like her. I am <laughs> honest. I am totally kidding. Listen, no. No, because what I'm saying you know what is you that what I said, did. You know what you just what? said, though, is the perfect example of when people ask me, why do we play the same shit a lot, right? 
That's why, because your average person doesn't listen for hours at a time. So when you tune into the station, you're better off playing a familiar song that makes sense. than some new shit that nobody's heard or some underground hip hop shit that's hot in the streets or online. Because it's just a different world. It's not necessarily the same. So they, if there's 60 slots for 60 songs, Beyonce and Drake are right. going to have them. Instead sure. of like some new guy who's mm -hmm. just getting hot and people are talking about, you know what I mean? Which is cool. Eventually, he, but at night during the mixes is when they have the more more freedom where they can, right, right. you know, spice it up a little bit. But during the early hours and during the midday and pretty much till probably about seven o'clock, they gonna keep it very safe because it's mm -hmm. safer to play familiar music than it is to try to play something that if you tune in and you ain't never heard it, you're gonna go to the other station or somewhere else to Yeah, because hear I'll be flipping through and I hate when I go on another channel and I'm hearing like the same song and I'm like... And it happens, I get and it. And in my mind, the first thing I'm like, okay, are they owned by the same people? I'm no, like, no, no, mom. It's just, it, it, when Drake's got a single out, it's going they're down. gonna play it's it. When Beyonce down. drops something, it's gonna it's play going anybody. Down. It doesn't matter, they're gonna, they're gonna play. And that's what they need so the, to do. So the playlist, and I don't do them. I, you know, obviously there's slight, there's some differences. Uh, Program directors or mixers or whatever they have, you know, they do the things uniquely their own way. So you'll hear some differences, but overall, it's the same music. Do you have to get up earlier for this morning show? Absolutely, another? yeah. This is uh, this is a little more this early. Syndication shit is crazy. <laughs> uh, it's crazy, cause cause you know I got it's a it's a thirty eight minute drive for me in the morning. Mm. So, but we get to do right now until this this week it'll start. We're all in there physically because before it was one day on, one day off. So I was doing. Excuse me, I was doing the show from home, too. Okay. Like, mm, certain days, right? But uh, I got to get up at 3 o'clock every single day. Mm. Wow. 3 a.m. I do that anyway. For what? Just edit shit. Edit all edit. your videos. Yes, that's right. what he be doing. I've been doing I got to be one Yeah, but what time morning. you sleep? I slept last night from about 11 to 1, didn't I? And then got up. And oh, then, so you got, and okay. Then, and then and came back to bed around. About 5 or 6, 5 I'm, to 6. That's fine. No, that's cool. That's okay. But uh, with me, is like, because I have to be up by 3... I can't push really after 10. Like, I'm yeah. in bed now. Like No, 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 that's dope, man. Go I to mean, sleep at 8.30, 9 o'clock is weird as fuck. Cause. Now, <laughs> I got used to that shit with Vita for two years. You know what I'm saying? So it's not brand you new to me. You train your body again. But then I was off for a whole year, mm -hmm. staying up every night till 4, doing mm -hmm. whatever, watching movies. Like, I, like whatever. Like, I'm a night owl by nature, what is, you know? What has really caught you by surprise at, that you did not expect going over to K104? Hmm. Uh, something that you can talk about because it may yeah, be yeah yeah no I feel you no no that's cool. something that caught you by surprise you never would have thought like what the heck um we find the funny in everything okay. on DD in the morning we really are the show that makes you laugh like you know, no matter how serious the shit is, like obviously we're tasteful, we're not totally, but like right. we don't indulge too much in too much like serious shit. Like there's, uh, you know, CNN, you got CNN, you got this. So we're not going to spend a few minutes talking about Ukraine or something really, really sad and try to dig into like a serious topic where it just, you know, we're not about that. And that coming from where I did a lot of news, like cruise news over at the beat, I used to like really like Daddy. indulge in being like a, 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 a broadcaster in some sense. Because like, yeah, yesterday at the Ukraine invaded, did, 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 like having like stating facts and shit like that. We're over at... at <laughs> we don't do that. Yeah, I ain't mm. We leave that for, you know what I'm saying? So that's probably been the biggest eye opener to me where I'm, I don't have to be as prolific or serious with my n news and delivery about it because we, hey, oh, so this Ukraine thing is, oh man, that's terrible. All right, y'all, let's talk about this monkey who just fell off a roof. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm just, whatever. Yeah. Uh, we find the funny. It's more about the funny. And, and I thought about it the other day. I was like, we, you need that sometimes. Like, there's so many channels that you could go get the serious. Mm. Show me somewhere where I know they're not going to get too serious. It's just going to be more fun. And that's what they are. Man, that's and that's cool. dope that, that you is. get to laugh. You get to yeah, smile. Yeah, no, for sure. To, every day, yeah. every day we laughing, cuz. Like, it's every crazy. Every day. Yes, it's cra It's hard. My cheeks hurt sometimes. I'm like, man, we just funny. Go and check that out, Trey. Funny and laughing all the time, you know? So mm. that, yeah. that would be the biggest surprise to me. If you really, like I said, if, if if you look at it, man, for you to be in Dallas and hit 97.9, K104, you know what I mean? Do you do you still talk to Vita? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and 104 and I think one, uh, 104 and 105 are like. 
the partner their stations. Owned. They're yeah. owned by the same company. That's what I thought. 105.9 and 104. Just 105.7. Like, yeah, 105.7. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's my channel. It's 105.7. No, I like 105.7. <laughs> it's, it's cool. See, I'm old, so. You you know, you're not old, girl. Music. Stop it. <laughs> um, uh, uh, 97.9 and 94.5 they like also own okay, that's, yeah that's, that's radio dope. one they own both channels is it a it's, it's a competition i well, took no, somebody no, i took it's, somebody out right to pop up dfw remember we was all out there mm -hmm. and some girl said you from 97.9 she said no not from 97.9 you don't remember you this happened Mm -hmm. You got to know who that was mm -hmm. that did it. She was really aggressive like that. She didn't play that. Well, it might have been the drinks kicking in, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was buying drinks. It's it's also a small community, and you don't burn your bridges, either. Yeah. Like, I left the beat on good terms. You did. Because it was good to me. They didn't do anything wrong. Like, there was no, you know, I left on good terms because, never know, radio ones across the country. I might move one day or move, go somewhere, have to go, and maybe right. want a job in that market, and I got to go back to radio one. So there's no... It, 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 there's no bad blood, but it is competitive, right? Yeah, like yeah, like did, we we had competition. Yeah. Did you get some congratulations or anything yeah, from, absolutely, that, from, absolutely. from from another yeah, station? Yeah, 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 almost every single person um, at the beat has congratulated me. That's okay, dope. so when you reached out to all these different companies everywhere, even not here in Texas, right, right, places, right. Um, after you got this job, because what I hate. After you get a job, did another job try to like contact you and be like, "Hey, <laughs> no." So okay. we was good. Yeah, no, I was super happy that this one. And my goal was to stay here. My ultimate goal was here, but I also, like I said, you leave your, you know, you put your throw your stuff out everywhere. You know, because suppose if LA had called you after you got in that one, I might not be here. No, <laughs> no I mean, they come, yeah. they come see your boy. We gotta like, keep you, but I come out there a lot too. Absolutely, so absolutely. I definitely. And pull again, up. it's not a personal thing. It's, that's why uh, to me, it, it's 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 business. It's jobs, right? Like the NFL, right? Like players have no loyalty. They don't. Mm -mm. They don't have. They sh mm -mm. they don't have to have any loyalty to a team. Correct. Except from Dallas. Girl, if you don't stop, except, it, from, except for if you play for the Mavs or the Cowboys, you can't Cowboys, go nowhere. And I'm not, and I'm not a Cowboys just big not time, at all. you know. But, but what? I don't see a something lot when of you put that star on. It's something different. They just be it's that. something different. They just be put that so dedicated to the Cowboys. Yeah. yeah, they're so dedicated to the Cowboys. Sure, you better not say that. There's so much you can say. There's so much you can say. I want to use say. LeBron as an example, right? LeBron, because they be asking, you know, LeBron has moved around so much. Right. Should he might go to another team if he wants to. But to me, like teams, if you get hurt, they drop you. If you don't work out, they leave you. If you don't something, they get they find somebody else. They will replace you in a heartbeat. So let as far as a player, replace them in a heartbeat. Didn't Shaq say something it. about that the other day about LeBron? Like if they ever let LeBron go off of this team, this they're dead. They're oh, I, I don't you know. I think the Lakers are the Lakers. They're a strong franchise, and they could probably you know bounce back. I mean, look at these young players, man. The the game is faster, stronger. They're shooting threes from half court. It's it's different. It's it's, it's different. It's evolved. These boys. Can Who is a them. new new um, basketball player that we should look out for? That you think that? Um, to be honest with you, I'm not that proficient. Like I'm not like a into that. I'm not. I don't okay. watch ESPN. See, I, really I don't. don't. Yeah, yeah, I'm, no, no, no. I'm like, I, I got homies who be like, "Man, you're weird as fuck." Mm -hmm. Like, I don't really turn on ESPN. I watch mm -hmm. highlights. Yeah. I like, you know, stuff like that. If some, you know, on social media, I follow like CBS Sports and stuff like that. Where I'll NBA, mm -hmm. so I'll see stuff. But I'm not a guy who sits at home and watches full games. Okay. Football, yes, but not all the games either. Okay. I'm not. I'm just. I'd rather. <laughs> I'm more into like a movie. I'd rather watch a movie. Me, yeah, I'm saying. That's you know, not what I mean. No, no, I love sports. I love playing sports, but I'm just not super big on, and I don't be knowing like where the where he from or what college he. You know what college he played for? No. Some people follow no the whole history. Yeah, no, no, no. no. That's what my son. My son who plays basketball, uh, loves basketball. I feel like. I, I might be able to set him up as a sports caster in life if he ever decides to do this, mm -hmm. get him into this world because he just be knowing where they're from and this dad, you know, he did this and that and, and I'd be like, 
You want to watch this movie? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, I don't know. What's your favorite movie of all time since you talking about movies? Uh, that's, I think that's an unfair me, question. I'm, I'm going to tell you what mm -hmm. it is. I got it. You don't or what know. genre? Okay, you, first, before he exactly answers that. That's a, good, that's a what, better. What, horror what, is my favorite. Oh, I'm not going to be able to answer so that. You can't yeah. answer that. <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh, my God, bro. Y'all from Texas. Y'all yeah. yeah. don't be liking the horror. Oh, I love oh, possession, Satan, anything like with the devil and all that. I love horror. Are you scaring me now? Okay, okay. Okay, since you love horror, because I, I don't watch horror, like, you know. Girl, but I've, I've seen one thing all. I've seen I can't do it. about I horror. Really? Absolutely. Okay, watching old time horror back in the days when you were a kid, Exorcist. Com compared to the newer horror stuff. today, is horror this today more, more weak? No, here's the thing, okay, because the older I get, the the I actually don't believe in ghosts. Mm. Like me personally, I really don't believe in that whole. Hocus pocus. You know, like I don't. Mm -hmm. So. Back in the day, they had they used less uh, graphics, like special effects, to scare you. They used actual, like mood and mm. and and like camera tricks or whatever to to scare you. Where newer movies, they're like you know they'll CGI the ghost or something, and th at that point you lose me. Right? There's a movie called Hereditary that came out a couple of years ago. Right? Mm -hmm. It's it's a possession film. Not to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it, but it's it. I don't think anyone, any of them are actually like scary. Where I'm like, oh my god, like where I gotta turn the TV off. Like I'm, I don't ever yeah, get to me, that scared. I remember when I was younger, like I could not watch. I remember Chucky. I remember Gremlins. I remember. Girl, you are naming hated, kitty movies. But I was okay, those are kid movies. I had nightmares over right, those no, movies. I get it. I get it. When I was a kid, but then and so I never ever watched those. You ever see Pet Cemetery, the first one? No, nah, you ain't see it. You over here watching kids. Freddy no. Krueger, all oh, of I that. I like Freddy. I liked Freddy. You know, I watched I all Freddy. of that. Or Carrie. Carrie was good. That was scary. Carrie was good. Yeah. You know, so, but I remember. That was good. At least you was... watched that. <laughs> At least you watched that. After you all know of what I that. Watched? Chucky. After all of that. Chucky's silly. I was like. <laughs> Shit's silly. Let but me tell fun. you. I had a doll at home that was that tall. That sort of looked like Chucky. <laughs> scared of him. You was like sleeping. Oh, God. The thing is right there. Because every time you wake up, it looked like she was looking. It was a girl, though. She was, oh, was looking at you. We yeah. had this clown picture growing up. That I, I mean, we swore that thing used to move in that picture, man. That clown picture used to fall off the wall and stuff. What was that clown horror movie that? Oh, in, um, uh, Clowns from Outer Space. Remember that one? Oh, That's God. a whole one. That was real stupid. tripping, man. Clowns from Outer Space. Oh, you scared of clowns over there? All of that. Okay, Everything. back in the days, which one was <laughs> the the best horror movie back in the days? I'm going to go with probably like Exorcist. Remember Exorcist? Have you yeah. ever seen that? Exorcist is that's intense. It's an intense movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she, mm -mm. <laughs> there's a scene where she stabs her vagina with, oh, a, well, with a cross piece. This. With a no. cross piece, like you see, no, the, the most, no, no. Back in the day, the most horrific was, was when movie. you know they're looking at you and then the neck turn and the head. Yeah, well, that, that, that's, and, that's Exorcist, where her yeah. head completely yeah. turns yeah, around. Yeah, like, yeah. And she so says the, like nasty. She's like eat my cunt. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't remember that part. But yeah, no, she's that. possessed by the devil. He'd be saying, like, you know, like, just imagine if the devil did it. You know, he'd be saying, like, rude shit. What's that shit. one that um, they used to come through the TV? Poltergeist. That Girl, one. I told you, I've seen I'm a, I'm a <laughs> horror. Oh, all of that I remember. Shit. I remember why that. I love being in the complete darkness. No. In com I want, like, I don't want to see no light, cuz. And I'm just sitting there. And I, I, I want the feeling of, like, Oh shit! You see that? Like I, I love that shit. I love. Did you? Did any of those movies ever give you nightmares? Uh, yeah, uh, that, it's funny. I brought up Pet Cemetery. Okay, so there's a, there's this, there's this. Um, in the main characters, there's this girl, this woman, this uh, the mother who had a sick sister who had this disease where her backbone, like her your spine, was really like prevalent. Like you could see mm -hmm. it, and she. I, I think her name was. Carrie, I'm just gonna. I, I can't remember what her name was, but mm -hmm. she used to be like, Carrie, your back's getting twisted like mine. Like, you know, she had mm -hmm. like this. Oh my God. And I remember like literally having like nightmares and shit. Like, I used to like wake up like, fuck. But it, and you'd go back and watch absolutely. it again. Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> I would watch the next scary movie that came out. But I've seen every big time, like every major scary no. movie that's come out in the past I did 10 years. When I've I was younger, it. I would watch it. But I used to, this is how I trained my mind. I'd watch a scary movie, then I'd have to watch like five good movies after that. To get it all to, out. To get it out of my mind. <laughs> so I wouldn't have a nightmare. Right. Or sure, they're watching watch, documentaries and yeah, shit afterwards. Yeah, or yeah. after watching it, I'd be like, okay, that was just makeup. It's just makeup. It's just makeup. <clears throat> I watch 
Okay, so I, I watch scary movies with some of my kids, too, and they're young. Wow. But that's how we watch them. I explain to them, this is all special. None mm. of it's real. It's all special effects. There's a person. Like, the only reason why you're seeing it is because there's a cameraman behind they're them. Making it, yeah. But we forget. You get caught you up, get into, caught the up into the movie. But I, I, in general, you know, I had some TV acting experience. And also obviously, I work with the CW. So I'm used to being behind the camera. So when I watch movies, I, I watch them on, like, that, too. Yeah. Like, you know, scenes where like people are in a coffin. Yeah. I know how they're made. Yeah. They're literally mm -hmm. open, but you know, you got the camera, you zoom in on it and it's a tight spot and you feel like you can't breathe, but actually, you know, it's this big ass room, right? You, so like everything, special effect, I just, I want to You look at it. movies totally different From the, when, like, when you're actually have some experience in that when In field. that world, exactly. Are you, right. are you, know, you still at the CW? Yeah, what? Yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> Entertainment News with Jay Cruz. There it is. The whole year I was off, that's what, was Kept keeping going. me going yeah, with the I TV, remember, remember? I remember. And then uh, now they now they're doing it a little differently, where we're not doing live anymore. Now I go in on Mondays and I pre-record my segments. Dope. Oh, bro, they got me hosting the St. Patty's Day Parade this Sunday. Yeah, well, we want to definitely tell you we love you, no, no, Jay Cruz. Let me say that again. I'm hosting the St. <laughs> Patrick's <laughs> Day Parade yeah. on live and I TV. I didn't acknowledge it. I was wrong. I'm trying to go to you this. just went over to it. Uh, well, she yeah, moved. Heard, she doing something over yeah, there. Like, well, you don't be playing. Huh? She can't make a little bit of noise. No, Jesus. no we got over some. There. We are a professional. No, <laughs> no, it's not that. We just got a special thing oh, that we wanted to do. give you, and I thought she was going for it, so I was going to try to. Oh, okay. Well, let's go back there. I'm hosting the St. Patty's Day Parade. hosting the Second St. time. Patrick's Day parade for the second time on, on Lower CW. Greenville. Yes, on TV. And live. what are you gonna do <laughs> different this time than you did last time? Uh, I'm gonna be with a different host. Last time I was with Vita. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, but it's the same thing. They got us on the same setup, uh, and then we walked down the street. Like, man, there'd be thousands of people there. Man. That's, That's just dope, crazy. man. Yeah, because um, I didn't know if, if, if well, I, every I, year you try to upstage yourself well, and you do know, something it's, different. It's funny because the year I did it, my, I had a beard, and I, I, I like not dyed it, but I bought this gel. The whole thing was green. green. Wow. Yeah, it was like this That's big dope. green beard. So I might just do the goatee this year. But I'm making. I'm gonna get like a DD in the morning, a green shirt made the rep. Mm. That's dope, and, man. So yeah, I, like I, got, it. I got some ideas. Y'all gotta I be really know you're gonna bring you it. Can, you have to do the same thing that she does. Uh, Yolanda is gonna be my host. Um, nah, nah. I'm gonna do my They're thing. They're gonna have we'll green. Do on. Yeah, you're doing green coming. We're gonna do green. So you don't sure. get pinched. Oh, I see what you do with the green. Yeah, yeah, pinch me. I'm Irish. So we got yeah, a couple yeah, yeah, of goodies right. for you. Um, my my wife is pulling it out. Uh oh. Uh, we got you. We it's you, been a whole year. I know. I looked it. at the text message. I was like, man, this dude asked me for my size a year. I know ago. it. I'm sorry, man. So this has been going like crazy you, though. You got your ball stopped. And it got you stay your name. I'm trying to make up here. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you got my name? Yeah, yeah. Both of them actually. So I Is just customized. Is this a jacket? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Open it out. Look at yes. it. That way, that way you'll always, hey, you'll always remember us, man, no matter where you're at, right? Come on, man. This is crazy. Yeah. Don't make man. fun of my little shirt, bro. Hey, Stop man, it's all good, man. Keep them tight. Keep them tight and right. Tight, right, tight and right. Stay tight and right. Push-ups and pull-ups and shit. You know oh, yeah, saying? yeah. On, that, on the pull-up and push-up, boss. Right. Really, How many push-ups can you do? Not many. This guy is not that guy. not many, Oh, bro. oh. Well, I mean, never whatever, mess with a man in his push-up. I can knock out 50 if I have to. Straight. Straight. I'm going to be tired, though. I don't know, maybe. She was worried maybe about that fitting you. Let's see what five. happens here. I'm, I'm small? Very, yeah. yeah. Girl, come on, now. This shit going to fit like a Glock. Okay. I already tell it's perfect size. Stop playing. That's hey. it. With the J. Cruz. Everything hey. cruising, baby. Oh, yeah. Now that boy fishing hey. with like a referee with a whistle, right? Hey, how I look. Say, hey, man, shout out. To, man, I got to get my phone out. Y'all stop look. playing, and man. That's a hoodie. And that's a hoodie. Yeah, man. We love hard over here when we love. Stop playing, man. There it is. That thing is mean. Good quality, too. Nice man. Oh, mm -hmm. man. <laughs> Jay Cruz in the building, man. It's going down, man. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Nah, this, man, man, come on, man. It's going down more. And when we change up stuff, we gonna start locking in. We got to get them to say our name. Because we get new designs all the time. Correct, man. We thank you for coming on the show, man. You're a nah, dope dude, it. man. Mm -hmm. and that's why we did it. I was like, nah, don't come yet. You're right. I'm like, don't come yet. We got to be ready for you, man. Yeah, this right. time. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. that's why you said that. Yeah. Hey, Cruz, hold on, man. Um, you're going to have to come next week. Yeah, you're going to have to. I got to do something. <laughs> Check it, man. Yeah, hey, man. Many questions. Say, man. Something. Check it, man. We got also, man. We love you. Nah, you know we love that, you, bro. So, well, you've been on a lot of podcasts, right? Um, 
We would like to Bam. present you. Nobody's giving the play. That is crazy. <laughs> With an award. Yeah, Y'all yeah. give me this video once it's all done. <laughs> yeah, 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 I got this, you. Okay. So we, we small over here. We, we, yeah, you ain't going to get out yeah, of this one. I appreciate one. that. This is presented to J. Cruz because I could not figure out what J stands for. I've searched everywhere. Uh, for J. J. The, it, it came, my real initials are JK. Okay. And Jay Cruz is, is not my real name. It's a made up radio name. Okay, okay. But I'm not going to say for, what my real name right, is. Who was it on that planet? I was searching everywhere and, and for it. And it's not out there. It. You could find it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You could find it. You could find it. And today we should be able to I find it. Everywhere. You should. Nice. Go ahead. But it says presented to Mr. Jay Cruz in recognition of being an outstanding on air personality devoted to radio and disc jockey industry for over 15 years. Making a change through media. Shut up. Look at y'all. Say, that, man, that, we love that, you, bro. We award. love you. You got to show it to the camera. We love you, bro. That's it, man. Jay Cruz in the building, y'all. Stop playing, man. <laughs> oh, I got to get my camera back up here, too. This man, is this is so dope, y'all. I really appreciate this. Say, man, so it, it, we we the podcast to be giving out uh, Giving plaques, roses right? while you're giving here. Giving roses like while we're here. here. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what sure. we that's believe in. Because you know, I hate when they, you know, you're gone and they just want to present it to the family and to the this yeah, and to the that. Yeah, yeah. Like man. that person's gone already. So let me say that uh, I respect this podcast. You guys Thank impressed you so me much. the first time I was here, and you impressed me the second time <laughs> I'm here. So you, y'all doing it, man? No, thank you, man. No, no, like, thank like you. I you think good. if you know, and, and we know that when when all said and done, we did everything we could with the moments that we had to yeah, spend definitely. with you guys, man. And that's important, right? Yeah, and we support each other. That's Everybody, out, when we do give out the plaques, they be like. I never. Duro was like, I never got a plaque from a podcast. This is the first one I take this very serious. They did not play about that. He snapped it and everything. Oh man, it. he was in love yeah. because at the end of the day, you know, it's just we know already that in the time we in now, podcasting yeah. is something new. And I was like, how can we be different? This has been going on ever since we started. So it ain't like we just started it. It was like we had to find like, okay, if you come quick, like you came like, oh, okay, we didn't get to do him. We going to get him back. It's certain ones like, and I ain't going to say their name, but they coming back and they don't realize why they coming back. It's because of stuff like this. We got to try to make sure yeah, yeah, we don't yeah. leave Show nobody appreciation. Like, man, we love you guys, man. Like Without y'all. You remember that shit, man. That shit sticks. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like Definitely, man. A little extra attention to detail, doing something like going above and beyond. Ex shit. Especially when we see your work. We oh, see you what you've been like doing. A, man, you because yes, you're on air, but you know when I see you on social media that you're at a lot of these. Um, Man, he help everybody the, if he can. Yes, these no, cases sure, that come up sure. that you're trying to shed light on certain situations, and you're out here trying to you know let people know what's going on, and how we can help, and stuff like that. It's it's commendable. And just showing like I like sometimes people are they tell me they're surprised how down to earth I am. Oh, you are. They are. They're like, yo, man, Cruz, I just thought you'd be more. Now, don't get me wrong. I talk that shit. No, nah, but you don't. Mm -hmm. like, more Hollywood. Don't be I, I have. I mean, they're not getting. I'll remind a motherfucker what I've accomplished when if you try, if you attempt to downplay you try me to, or yeah. you attempt to yeah, like, yeah. act like I couldn't if I wanted to. But no, I just, people are always like, man, it's just, you know, you're just so. You are. You that guy. Welcoming and accepting. You're know, like, you helping you know, us. I, I'll, I'll listen to somebody. Like, you know, I'll give you a chance. I'll, I'll go to your shit. You know, I try to do as much community shit as I can. And I also have reasonable prices, like when I charge people for, for sure. shit. You right. know, yeah. I try not to. I know not where I live. I know where I am, and every circumstance is different. Like you know, mm -hmm. you got these young rappers out here who barely got five hundred dollars, but you know, you taxing them a thousand dollars for something because, it. and it's like. To me, it's not fair. It don't make sense. Well, fair. thank you so much for coming on the show. This is not your last time. We will have you back. Right. Uh, we phasing wow. you in, like right, like, guest like host. it may we'll be. Yeah, yeah. We got to do the guest host thing. thing. We got. Hey, we got to make sure we bring it when people come to Dallas. They got to be able to say, "Man, we can go over there to Boss Talk." Man, that mm -hmm. podcast, that dope. That's you what it's said all that about. Before. Yeah, that's what you a lot said of people flying time. in though. I love it. I ain't gonna lie. We get mm -hmm. calls and emails and DMs and stuck on lock. More and more prevalent that way. Yeah, no. Calling. I think it's also that it's you guys. I, I gotta give it to you guys, like the team. Like it's y'all yeah. two. She's setting the shit up. Like it's just the person. Nah, that wasn't like that at first. She yeah. took that from like, me, bro. Like the first month, it wasn't like that. But then I ever remember since when I was here the first time, you were setting the stuff okay. up. She ain't playing. No, we were both doing it back then. Oh, okay, okay. But she took it. Like, yeah. you, but they're editing something. We, we got to, uh, we can do no, it, right? That's no, what because, I'm saying. No, it's the team, no, y'all. Nobody asked, can do it alone. Yeah, no. because he's he like, come on, let me show you. Because in the beginning, he's like, come on, let me show you how to do this editing. 
You know how when you know your husband or you know your spouse and you know that once he says that and then you get it, <laughs> then most of the work is going to be on you? Yeah, I'm like, no, 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 baby, you got it. You got it. You you go ahead and keep that editing. Go ahead. I wouldn't be where I'm at without wifey. It's it's it me time. neither, man. Thank you so much, man. I want to say thank you, man. Um, we love you. And it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, What a Bosses Talk. And we out. Okay, J. Cruz. We here at Boss Talk Podcast 101. Don't start crying. I know, okay? I'm about to get don't, emotional, don't, right? Don't Let's go. Let's do this, man. There's so much history here. <laughs> hey! We would love to present you with this award. It says, presented to Mr. J. Cruz in recognition of being an outstanding on-air radio personality devoted to radio and disc jockey industry for over 15 years, mm. making a change through media. 2022. Hey. Hey. Um... I don't know what to say. I, I really appreciate this right here. Like, and I, and I mean this. Like, a lot of times, the things you do, you feel like they're not acknowledged or recognized. And when people go out of their way to remind you that they see your efforts and appreciate what you do, it really means a lot. So this this <laughs> this really means a lot. We love you. I really appreciate y'all both. Giving out roses while they here. That's right. And my dog died the other day, so I'm a little emotional. Right so now. this this helped. That's why he put a rest, he rest he in peace, the Tika. On, That's right. We keep the shades sure. on. Rest, rest in peace, peace Tika. 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 No, but all jokes aside, I, I really appreciate this. I, I respect what y'all do here. Uh, Boss Talk 101, one of the most dopest professional, podcast. Po dopest podcast dopest. here. I mean, and I, I want to say Dallas, but y'all travel. Y'all pick everywhere. up the show. Y'all travel. Y'all pick up the show. So it's everywhere. You guys are definitely making moves, and people are seeing. That's why y'all phone ringing. Crazy. <laughs> Yo, man, get us on the podcast, man. I got to get on the podcast, man. I need you to throw them on here. Oh, Check it, man. Shit. This is Jay Cruz. He's here, man. Jay Cruz is in the building, man. We yeah. got him, man, for a second time as well. And he got an award. It's popping.